Hello and welcome back to the royal let's play of Thomas Was Alone. I am your host, Sir David. Sarah leaned her wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. Ah, oh, the quadrilaterals are at it again. So we were just being introduced to Sarah when we left off. I'm sorry, I'm I'm very tired. And apparently being this tired makes me incredibly posh. She spoke <laughs> in terms she could only hope they might understand. Of the fountain of wisdom. Channel through which all data flowed. Oh no, Sarah. Uh, so we were just being introduced to Sarah. Uh, who is, I think, our final character, if I'm remembering this right. Uh, and she has the unique ability of being able to jump twice. Or as some might call it, a double jump. Uh, for this room, all we're doing is following the spotlight. Each time it moves, it's going to reveal a new button. Either on the ceiling of one of these blocks, or on the floor. Uh, so Sarah opens up a lot of interesting possibilities, as do all of the other blocks in their own unique ways. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle. Flee. Or more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. And she, Sarah, no, how to escape. Uh, the unfortunate thing about chapter six is that it doesn't really push you very hard. The red one, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them save their friends. He said that he too had wondered at the secrets of this world and would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. Sarah marveled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. This chapter is a little bit disappointing because they don't really challenge you. There's no progression even towards the middle and end of it. Doesn't really happen until next chapter so, when most of the characters reunite. Possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. Sarah is a really fun, eccentric character, though. So just having more time alone with her big personality does make up for a little bit of it. I think we have to start with her this time. Just to get the ball rolling. A single jump each? These were truly weak creatures. They possess heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which they were probably not. I like how the narrator even changes the way he speaks for her. Oh, no, one more down. Hit the switch for Thomas. And then he can be the last one to climb up. get James in his home and Sarah and most of the chapter is spent with these three or just Thomas and Sarah or just Sarah uh, the cast does not get they were close bigger Sarah in this chapter since the presence of the fountain just one more portal to go and then she would have the knowledge this and one then escape this one is fun just because it's... Come on now. Jump. Jump, fool. Maybe we'll move him back a little bit. Just to make this ledge a little bit easier to grab. Uh, this one is fun just because it's recycling a mechanic that we learned in the previous chapter. Get you two over, and then we'll jump down with James. Now we have this fountain of light. 
list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This? Well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting. From the screaming. And this one is really only barely a level. A nice. <laughs> Thomas was connected to the internet for 12 seconds, and he had seen everything. He'd seen the cats who couldn't spell, he'd heard of the arrow through the knee. He felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that was a lie. Jeez, I forgot Thomas was alone. It was actually this recent that the arrow to the knee jokes were already played out by the time this came out. I think that's the last switch that we had to hit, now it's just getting everyone into their respective portals. So, come here, Thomas. Thomas knew where they were. He knew what they had to do. He hoped the others would understand. They would just be on the next portal. And again, very n not very much going on here. For this being an end of chapter level. Really straightforward stuff. Come, come. And then as you go into chapter 7, you can already see that this is picking up once again. Once again, it's going to shift into a new, a new gear. We have most of the cast together, and then as we go through chapter 7 proper, the entire cast will reunite. But for now, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.